Being talked about across the country and the fallout begins following the impeachment of the four remaining members of the West Virginia State Supreme Court. One of those justices has now stepped away from the court. 13 News is working for you with team coverage tonight. Mark Curtis is live in studio to break it all down for us. But first, Hannah Getz reports on this morning's surprise announcement. In that press conference earlier this morning, Supreme Court Justice Robin Davis announced her retirement, which she said was effective as of yesterday. And this announcement comes just one day after the House of Delegates voted on articles impeaching the four remaining Supreme Court justices. The charges against Davis were related to office renovations, and it has been said that she spent around half a million dollars on her office. Today, the now former justice stood with shaking hands inside the Supreme Court chambers and used words like disastrous and mania. She then encouraged the people of West Virginia to, quote, watch this legislative process very carefully and to vote in November. Now, the citizens, and let me repeat that, the citizens of West Virginia will be afforded their constitutional right to elect my successor in November. Davis finished her statement by thanking the people of West Virginia and everyone that she has worked with. Reporting at the West Virginia State Capitol, I'm Hannah Getz, 13 News, working for you. Reaction to the retirement of Justice Robin Davis was swift from both sides of the aisle. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis joins us now live in the studio with more, Mark. Patrick and Jennifer, we now have two vacancies on the West Virginia Supreme Court after this morning. Well, Robin Davis. The will of the people of West Virginia is being denied. And as we've heard, Justice Robin Davis announcing her retirement from the West Virginia Supreme Court. She was one of the four justices impeached by the House of Delegates Monday. A lot of the reasons focused on lavish spending on renovations and decorations to court offices. Many Republicans want all the justices off the court, but Democrats are satisfied with Justice Davis retiring uh, so candidates can still make the ballot to be her successor. You know, I think she did the noble thing in, in allowing the, the people of West Virginia, allowing the voters to choose her replacement rather than uh, Governor Justice. Well, it's very clear that the state of West Virginia has lost confidence in the highest court in the, court in the state. And uh, the only way to restore confidence, ideally, would be for, for every, all the four, the remaining justices, I guess there's three now, to resign. <clears throat> Justice Menace Ketchum resigned last month. That'd Justice Alan Lawfrey is suspended well, and under federal indictment. The now, the newest justice, Beth Walker, is also facing one article of impeachment. Also late this afternoon, Chief Justice Margaret Workman issued a statement saying she will not resign and will fight the impeachment. Senate President Mitch Carmichael is predicting the trial will begin in mid-September. Live in studio, Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you.